Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Freight Forwarding. We are uh, working towards the seismic scanner research, and just about a full stack of Defender capsules, and we'll go back to the island. Hopefully take out some more biter nests. Mainly using the tank, and hopefully the Defenders will keep bugs off my butt. Though I'm not really confident, because let's see. We've seen what my rifle can do, and that has a shooting speed of 10 and a damage of 21. So that's roughly 200 DPS. The Defender robots have a DPS of four times 12, which is 48, but a lot of that's gonna be reduced by armor. So yeah, all together, they're about as effective. Yep, there goes the tank. Um, they're only about as effective as my submachine gun when there's only uh, five of them, which is my current limit. So another weapon damage upgrade will be very nice if I can get that done. But for now, we'll just head back and take out some more biters while we slowly research the seismic scanner. You know, that's the, the most annoying thing to me, is not actually how many rocks there are, it's how invisible they are sometimes. They blend in real well with that landscape. And maybe soon I'll start setting up the, uh, the iron mine and send a bunch of iron home. Oh, I forgot to place trees, dang it. Okay, so there's lubricant researched. Is it the same? Just heavy oil? Yeah. I swore off alien biomes due to all the rocks. I wonder if there's a way to reduce it. I don't mind it, personally. It is kind of annoying to drive around, but... Okay, so I shouldn't have left my tank there. It did get killed. Um, but let's get these accumulators placed. Where'd they go? it look nice, less efficient. Tanks are a pretty expensive form of walls. Yes, yes they are. All right, we'll hook this up from two directions. Now that will help a lot with my laser defenses. And now we grab the backup tank I brought. Fuel. All right, how do you guys actually there against biters. Probably not very well, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, they basically do nothing. They can kill the small biters, but that's about it. Okay, Dave, I'm officially banning you from using tanks as a improper pronunciation as thanks. I think you've hit your your maximum quota of using that pun. And uh, further usage will result in termination of your account. Get rid of all the 
this crap. Walls, I don't need this many walls. Well, Defender Robots will get better once we have a follower robot count of, like, 50. And their damage is upgraded a couple more times, so they can actually pierce through the armor. Because right now, the armor, I think, is the main issue. Because, like, Big Biters and the Snappers have an armor of 8, which is reducing most of the damage that they do. They only deal 12 damage. So then you take eight off of that. Now they're only dealing four damage. You know, obviously. That goes downhill pretty fast. Plus, they even have a 20% resistance after that. Now the thing I'm curious about is whether it rounds up or down, right? Because there's four damage left. 20% of that four damage would reduce by 0.8 damage. So is that... Um, yeah, I just don't know how much that actually reduces. Does it go down to four? Does it actually deal a fraction amount of a damage? Does it deal 4.2 damage? Um, like is health actually a decimal value? Or does it just uh, round down the reduction and end up still dealing the full five. Not sure. Okay, so this iron patch will be mine. Let's make that a reality. Dave was like, how can we come up with more puns now that my tank's puns have been banned? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, 90 degrees isn't even that hot, though. You know, that only works in Europe. That's a, that's a Europe-only pun right there. You're right. I'm using Europe as a broad term for anything that is in America. <laughs> Don't you know? <laughs> There's only two countries in this planet. There's the USA and there's Europe. That's it. That's all, that's all we've got. Hey, trying to talk here. Also, there's got to be somewhere else that uses Fahrenheit. I mean, we can't be the only ones. Look, I play Factorio. I'm not good at geography. Don't don't uh, read too deep into it. Okay, so we've got an iron patch. Not the biggest iron patch in the world, but um, there you go. The Federated States of Micronesia. You know, they, they know what's up. They know what's up over there in Micronesia.
Ah, that is helpful, Apophenia. Thank you for that. That knowledge bomb. So that means my Defender robots are dealing 4.2 damage. After reductions, which is not very good. After the next upgrade, though, they'll deal like a lot more. I don't know exactly. But yeah, the accumulators are definitely kicking in to provide more charging power in those spikes. And now I can hop back in the tank, finish off that nest, now that I've got some lasers closer. Take care of these worms. I mean, they don't literally do nothing, so I might as well have a few, few defender robots. Shovel. Yeah, see, I mean, they, they killed, they killed something, partially. feels so good to have laser turrets. Just being able to deal damage without spending... I guess I'm spending resources in the form of power, but not like resources, resources, you know? Just coal. Coal doesn't count. Because it's coal for power. Coal only counts as a resource if it's an ingredient, you know? I know that's not how it works, but it really feels like that's how it works. Okay, that base is dead. Huzzah. And the seismic scanner's almost done. Hey, thanks for the follow, Code Cone. My robots. Just go in circles here. Biomass, yum. Oh. Full of it. We're so full of it. Alright, that does that basin. Nice work, team. Patch is pretty much secured. Uh, 
Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, all right, all right. Let's grab all that. Don't really need it. Um, now what? Now what? Seismic scanner is almost done. Not quite. I would like to place Sentinel. So I can see the iron patch. And then how are we doing on research? Oh gosh. What are we missing? Green packs? And green packs are short because of iron. Well, can't do anything about that. We've got what we've got. With the exception of some of these tiles along the edge, we've got an iron miner on every single tile of iron on the island. So, can't do anything more. Guess we can keep killing some killing some biters while we pass the time. Let's see, why don't we get like a little chunk of turrets over here just so we don't have to Hey! Stop that. have to keep uh running away oh gosh more than i expected Cannot make very tight turns in this thing. Okay, there we go. That'll provide some support while I bombard. Excuse me, Mr. Rock. the tank is pretty good when you get a max range shot. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Ninety-five percent on that research. to bombarding. Come on. Stupid rocks get in the way. Oh, there's the worm. Wasn't even looking for him. I should have my defender robots too. They will slowly whittle away. This is where having four quick bars can get uh, a little dicey because they're in the way of seeing what I'm shooting at. It's kind of funny. Uh-oh. You got me. Don't get bogged down in the acid now.
Okay, spitters down, worms down. Another worm down. Seismic scanner's done. Yeah, exactly. Those rocks and trees have regrets for being being here. Shouldn't have been born. Some more shoveling. Alt C. Oh, apparently that does something for spider trons, which we have not unlocked yet. Okay, so that's done. Seismic scanner research complete. Um, what next? Projectile damage would help our defender robots. So would shooting speed. I think what we actually really want is the potentially energy damage or um, Distractors do a lot more damage, so maybe those are just better than defenders. You know, they're more expensive. Um, but you just have to throw them at a specific location. They don't follow you. Maybe not. The other good thing would be this guy. But I need to research quite a few things for that. I have better options for like short-term gains. I probably want radar. Um, follower robot count would be nice. Long range delivery drones. Oh, interesting. could deliver the iron via plane. Considering. Okay, let's just get radars. We gotta get them eventually. And can I craft a seismic scanner or is that a no-go? That's a no-go. I need electric engines. All right, we'll do that real quick. I'm curious. I am very curious what uh, that actually does. And then we should place trees back home because it's been a while since I've done that. And just to make sure the tank is protected. We'll uh, plop down some gun turrets. Oh, and I should also get rid of all this because that's just taking up power. That we don't really need to be taking up. Get rid of all that stone and wood. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking, Apophenia. I'm like, hopefully it just scans the whole dang island. We will see if that's what it does. It probably does. Or it probably doesn't. I actually have no idea. Maybe it's just a certain radius, and it only scans the land in that certain radius. This is the one that needs a little bit more fuel. That would be really bad if we ran out of fuel, like, right now, in the middle of the ocean. That's when you put a paperweight on the W key and just go do something else for a while. Grab some more accumulators too. I 
And then we can place some... Ah! Wow, I just bounced off that rock. I didn't even damage it. Uh, place some trees, too, and we can see what we can do to this uh, pollution cloud. Grab some fuel. Oh, gosh. This thing is so weird. It, like, accelerates more than you press W when you're starting from a stop. Wilbury Jones can't do containers. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Um, oh, I need lubricant for the... What you may call it? And then we need some electric engines, which are probably what, like green circuits plus engines plus lubricant. That is exactly what they are. Okay. So for now. I'll just do a couple over here. Yeah. Just so I can have some on the engines can come around. The spaghetti continues to intensify as it should. All good spaghettis should. It's kind of funny. I, I need the circuits that are right there, but I'm going to take them from here instead. Aim. Like I said last time, bus is obsolete. It's not! I'll still use the bus. I promise. This is just to get enough to craft the seismic scanner. And other things that need a few electric engines. There are like two circuits on the engine side of the belt that happens when you did the merging. Oh, yeah. Get it? I think I got it. Alright, how many did I need? Ten. Almost there. Alright, seismic size seismic scanner. A brain brain fart. Another fifty accumulators. That should be plenty. And let's see. He's all back to normal. I'll have two stacks come back with me. Let's drive around the base to go do some trees. dead folks <laughs> wow is this uh still even absorbing pollution 
yeah, yeah, it still absorbs a decent amount. Negative 19, negative 18. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty bad. Okay, so what we need is to ditch our whole inventory, fill it up with trees, and then we're going to make an even longer line of... Wow, they were backed up completely. Wait, they only stacked to 10 now? I guess that's what they stacked to before. Never mind. that sound. Wow. I guess we still can carry a lot of trees. more. Once we have bots, like hundreds of bots, we can use the blueprint trees mod, which I already got, so I should be able to, thought I turned it on. You can't copy them. Hmm. Well, yeah, Blueprint Trees is a mod, so how do you use it? Is it a separate button? Do you need a tree blueprint? Or do you need something blueprintable? Ah, uh, you do. Okay. And then you can just remove that. Blueprint needs an icon. That's lame. I mean, I could just use a billion nanobots for this, I guess. Instead of... Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Why is it deleting trees? does look boring, that's for sure, because they don't paste variety. I wonder why it's deleting some. Is it because they count as dead trees or wrong kind of tree? I'm curious. Hmm. That's all my nanobots anyway, but... Get out of my way! Coming through! Alright, let's just go back to the uh, tried and true. Also sounds way cooler. Let's go until we've used like half of our file. Still moving sideways. There we go. Hmm. 
Yeah, we just make the forts so we can drive through it with the tank. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, in all seriousness though, what is this doing to the pollution? Nothing. I mean, it's something, but it's not enough of a thing. Yeah, you've heard of litho breaking. This is a, uh, um, I don't know what's the equivalent to that. But yeah, definitely arboreal breaking. Oh gosh. Yeah, if I lose a flamethrower on this, then uh, we're gonna have some lag. That's for sure. Other trees. Okay. Ah, didn't mean to move down. There we go. Yeah, the few seconds per frame that we have, instead of frames per second. the natural breaking. Grab some more trees. I'll do two or three more and then we'll call it good for now. You know, this is just, is for fun. It's a nice little break. When do I unlock the K2 poison thingies? No idea. I don't even know what you're talking about. Are you thinking of Space Age? Not Space Age. Space Exploration? What does K2 have it? It's going to blow up my car if I hit another rock, and I don't have the, uh... Nanobots to repair it. Oof. 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 Oh, there it goes. Whoops. It's one foot for this last part. All right. Well, once we have like 10,000 construction bots, we can just uh, blueprint a forest and see how that goes. It's definitely reducing, you know, each of these is, am 
minus 10, minus 10, minus 10, minus 10. Like, it's doing something, but we just need, like, multiple chunks filled to the brim with trees. Yeah, I mean, look. Look at what we just started eating. We, we are actually eating more pollution than the tiles are eating right now with trees. That'll just stop because they're all going to start dying. All right, let's put all this back. Pick all our stuff back up. Have even more trees ready for when we finally have bots to do our work for us. And we'll call that, call that good enough for now. Radar's almost done anyway. And we got our seismic scanner. Scans connected land masses, outputting 150 pollution a minute. Yikes. Um, is there something else I was going to grab? I can't remember. Well, I guess we need to craft another hover tank now. Something happened to the last one. Nobody can say what, though. No one's fessing up to it. have some electric engines just to have them on hand and I need more power poles where are those at where are those pesky power poles placed down here I have no memory of this oh they're right here Grab some more defenders. Hover tank is a go. Oop. Don't destroy my petroleum stockpiles. Going straight south seems to be mostly clear. There was a rock. And a couple more rocks at the bottom. Alright. Then we angle. What is that? That's 45. Alright. Right now, straight down. One over. That's 45. One over. Yeah. It's kind of weird. That doesn't look like 45 degrees, but it is. Because of the weird isometric view that we have. Also, I didn't think to look. What do these cost? Okay, we should be able to craft some. We might not need to. Here we go. Seismic scanner. It's time for you. Not very big. Here it goes. Well, looks like it's doing its thing. Sweet. Okay, it is gonna produce hella pollution though, and our pollution clouds have connected. So, we can expect to be attacked a lot more now. But that doing its thing. That should be okay, because we have a lot of coal and a lot of laser turrets. And now more accumulators, which, let's be honest, come on, what am I doing? Let's be more efficient. Let's be more efficient. The whole point of these is space efficiency, so, you know, let's actually do it right. How many would I need? 
here every four. Anti-biter virus capsule. Virus. Aha. Yeah, that needs a uh, advanced tech card, so that's not for a while. The accumulators are beefed up a bit. some extra defenses here. Oh, and they're coming around the sides even. Well, okay, we got the copper. I don't know if we knew about that before. Um, but no other resources yet. We do need some radar just to reveal the area around us. So that would be nice. And then this is this is where having the Big Brother mod is still useful because it'll reveal a bigger area. Line of sight increase is going to be very nice. I'll do two of those. We can watch the impact as it's a fast research. Ooh, there's mineral water. Yay! We were worried about that. And a good titanium patch. It's still extremely small, but, you know, we'll have beacons and speed uh, whatever's speed modules and stuff, so that'll help. Ooh, another two chunks, it looks like. Okay, so shallow water attack. Wrecked. Get wrecked, kids. I should probably start mining this iron now. That'll be the next big goal. And then we can do gas power at, at home base too. Now that I know they're attacking via the shallow water, I should have a couple more turrets here. Radar amplification two. Do we get two more chunks? So it'll go to like here ish. How big is a chunk? I don't actually know. Yeah, okay. Two more chunks. Sweet. That's a nice big visual area. Ooh, a nice circular uranium patch. I like it, I like it. It does seem like the seismic scanner is doing the whole whole island. More stone. Sweet. Okay. Well, our tank has its work cut out for it. 
Uh, if we're going to be clearing the island mostly with the tank, we're going to need more follower robots for sure. We're going to need physical projectile damage. What else are we going to need? Oh, I know what we're going to We're going to need the uh, personal laser defense. So why don't we start working towards that? I know it's going to take five ever, but oh gosh, we can't even do the solar panel until we do that solar panel. Oh goodness. Maybe not quite ready for that. Maybe not quite ready for that. Uh, is there a smaller step we can take? Probably just energy weapon damage. And... Or enrichment, maybe we can work on enriched iron back at home. And then... Not quite ready for electric smelting. Yeah, we'll, we'll work on all that. Oh, I need cargo ships. I forgot I hadn't researched that. We will focus on that hoist. Okay, uh, enriched ores are great. Yeah, exactly. The island looks NSFW. It kind of does. <laughs> kind of does. Um, more resources? Not yet. So what was I going to look at? I already, already spaced it. I was going to look at... Something. I already forgot what I was going to do. Um... We can get this covered in miners, though. I can't remember if it had something to do with military or or what. I don't even remember. Okay, no, I do have. I thought I had a blueprint for this. Yeah, I do. There it is. Okay. Uh, so we start it there and there. And that should do it. Let the nanobots work their magic. have a wall we can at least have some pipes walls at home it looks like I need a few more but that's 54 iron a second nice okay so that comes over and then we'll need some sort of balancer and a cargo ship we'll get that set up in the next episode but this is the beginnings more iron and this one is seven million so that won't run out for a while oh that's what i was gonna look at i remember now i knew it'd come back to me eventually uh i was gonna look at with iron like if i'm it's not the recipe i want 
iron plate, for example. I just want to see... It's not called iron plate. It's probably called plate dash iron or something ridiculous like that. Like, if I'm doing 60 iron a second, let's say, how much uh, are we talking in terms of the enriched... What's it called? The stuff it needs, sulfuric acid. We're talking 30 sulfuric acid a second, which is... A very small amount of lead and three sulfur okay I mean it's it's non-zero but it's also not crazy you know if we do that and we do that and we do matrix solver and I have to delete that one Does that really not work oh, come on. go to bottom there we go. Uh, yeah, so 46 oil instead of 30 iron ore. Definitely worth it. Technically, there's some lead in there too, but that's such a minuscule amount. I'm not going to count it. And we're not even, you know, because these are so small, um, we obviously want to use productivity on these too. Because it's such a small amount, there's really no reason not to. And then we're talking even less, just 40 oil. So oil, 40 oil replacing 30, 30 um, iron, it's a good deal. So we'll definitely do the enriched and not to mention there's even the dirty water which you can turn back into some stuff. But I mean, that it's almost better to just void it because look at that. I mean, maybe you can't void it. Maybe you have to do this. Um, that 250 dirty water will only make 0.2 iron ore. So that's, it's not even worth doing. Um, it's 0.2 iron ore versus 90. That's a percent of a percent of a percent. Oh, you can void it, but it outputs stone. Okay, good to know. Yeah, there it is. Oh, and it pollutes a lot. Interesting. So you're going to get the stone either way. So maybe you might as well get the iron back. I don't know. It still doesn't even seem worth it. I'll probably just do it the stone version. Okay, I need to be done with the episode there. Uh, for those of you on YouTube, as always, thank you guys for watching. And I also want to announce a couple things uh, that I don't talk about every episode because I don't want to be uh, focusing too much on it. But I do have a Patreon if you'd like to support me making videos. I appreciate it a ton. It does really help. Um, and every little bit helps. You get a couple bonuses like some cool uh colors on discord for your name and there's a special channel for one of the tiers that i haven't used too much because there aren't uh there's nobody at that tier but if you want to help me plan um what we actually do next on the channel um, then you can do that other than that it's just a, a fun way to support a fun way that's not the right word it's a great way to support me it's better than twitch subs or youtube subs so if that's what you're wanting to do with your money feel free but you know what if you're lurking two thumbs up um i never want to pressure anybody to spend money they don't have because let's be honest this is a video game on the internet like don't spend your money on that unless you have the money to spend and you want to do so so no pressure on that um you can also join the discord i literally just tried to deconstruct that a second ago uh, the Discord is a really fun way to hang out. There are people there who have made their own Minecraft server or played board games together, or we talk about Factorio and Factorio mods. And if you want to, you know, talk to people like, oh, have you played this mod? What's it like? There's there's always somebody that's played one of them or all of them. And so we have a lot of fun over there. And if you want to, you know, have people to hang out with and chat video games and Factorio and other stuff, then feel free to join the Discord. There's a link in the description of the video. Other than that, that's all I got, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.